mathematics of probability. We are going to review ratios, proportions, decimals, approximation, percent, and language. A ratio is an ordered pair of numbers A to B that is used to describe a relationship between two quantities. In primary school, class size is limited to 20 students. That is, there are 20 students to one teacher. There is a 20 to 1 ratio. This bar graph represents the students to teacher ratio on the left a bar of length 20 represents students and on the right a bar of length 1 represents the teacher. In this class there are also 12 girls to 8 boys for a total of 20 students. The ratio is 12 to 8. The bar on the left represents the 12 girls the bar on the right represents the eight boys. There are also 12 girls to the one teacher. The ratio is 12 to 1. The left bar represents the 12 girls, while the right bar represents the one teacher. There is one teacher to eight boys. The ratio is 1 to 8. On the left is the one teacher, and on the right is the eight boys. We express ratios as fractions. A to B becomes A over B. This is very helpful in performing calculations. The 20 students to one teacher becomes 20 divided by 1 as a fraction, where 20 is the numerator and 1 is the denominator. There are 12 girls to 8 boys. The 12 to 8 ratio becomes 12 divided by 8. There are 12 girls to 1 teacher. The ratio of 12 to 1 becomes 12 divided by 1. There is one teacher to 8 boys. The ratio of 1 to 8 becomes 1 over 8. Proportion is equal ratios. The ratio on the left of A to B represented as a fraction A over B is equal to the ratio on the right of C to D represented as C divided by D. This is a proportion and they're very useful in performing calculations. Grandma's cookie recipe requires three eggs for every two tablespoons of sugar to produce a dozen cookies. That's 12 cookies. If you are in need of 50 cookies for your daughter's back to school night, how many eggs and tablespoons of sugar are required to use Grandma's cookie recipe? Grandma's cookie recipe calls for three eggs to two tablespoons of sugar, which generates 12 cookies. If we let x represent the unknown quantity of eggs, y represent the unknown quantity of sugar, for 50 cookies, we can create a proportion that relates the three eggs 
to 12 cookies equal to x eggs to 50 cookies. A second proportion relating the 2 tablespoons of sugar to 12 cookies equal to the y tablespoons of sugar to 50 cookies. We solve for x, solve for y. We'll determine the amount of eggs required, the amount of sugar required for 50 cookies. Three to twelve is x to fifty. Multiply both sides by fifty. Using algebra, we get x equals one hundred and fifty divided by twelve. This is the amount of eggs. Numerically, 150 divided by 12 is 12.5. In other words, we're going to need 12.5 eggs for 50 cookies. the two tablespoons of sugar to 12 cookies is some y tablespoon of sugar to 50 cookies. Multiplying both sides by 50, using algebra, we get y is 100 divided by 12. This is the number of tablespoons of sugar required for 50 cookies. In other words, there's 8.3333333 tablespoons of sugar required for 50 cookies. If we approximate this number to the nearest tenth, it's the first three. The second three says to leave the first three alone. Remember, the digit to the right, if it's a zero, one, two, three, or four, in this case it's a three, means leave that tenth digit, the three alone. The answer is 8.3. tablespoons of sugar are required for 50 cookies. If you earn $534.55 in five working days, how much would you earn in 28 working days or in three working days? I'm going to create the ratio of $534.55 to five days, the ratio of X dollars to 28 days, and another ratio of y dollars to three days. Where x is the amount of money earned in 28 days and y is the amount of money earned in three days. These ratios are going to be used to create proportions in which we can determine the value of x and y. The first proportion of $534.55 to five days equals some x dollars to 28 days. If I multiply both sides by 28 and use algebra, x equals 28 times $534.55 divided by five. 